Hey, what's up guys? Joe Gas here. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating the Puppet Warp tool, which is found in Photoshop CS5. Now, a lot of people think content aware is one of the main features, but Puppet Warp is also a really cool feature that I'm going to be demonstrating with you right now. So, let me just open up this picture of a cat with Photoshop CS5. So, as you could see, this cat is about to, you know, claw the other cat's tail. And we can easily make it so that this tail is bent back and the cat totally owns this cat and just misses its tail. And with content aware um, and the power of Puppet Warp tool, we could easily do this. So I'm going to get the pen tool and... Just make a rough selection. Don't use a lasso tool for this. Use a more accurate type of selection because the pen tool is going to take more time. But we want to get that tail. And honestly, I'm not even doing that much of a good job with the pen tool. But this is just a quick demonstration video. So anyway, so there we have a selection of the tail. We're going to make selection. All right. Then we're going to press Command C and Command V to copy that into a new layer. So now we just have a tail that we could put anywhere. Anyway. Um, but we're going to keep that on the same spot as the tail in the original picture. Then we're going to press Command and select that layer. Select the original and press Delete and use Content Aware. So now we have basically taken out the tail in the original picture and made content aware so now the cat basically has no tail anyway now we're gonna actually warp this so go to select the tail that we have on our second layer and go to edit puppet warp and as you can see you're gonna get a uh, kind of a grid and you could make this grid the smaller it is the more accurate it's gonna be two is fine but um Density, you could change a lot of stuff. More points, there you go. That's going to be way more accurate. But anyway, as I said, demonstration. So I'm going to select points, the main points of the tail that I can flex around. So now what I'm going to do is make this up here. And as you can see, Now, the cat basically just moved his tail. Now, if I hide that, you could see an outline of the original tail. So I'm going to hide that, um, use the lasso tool, just a quick select, as I showed in my other video. And, you know, basically get that little outline, delete, and use content aware. So now that looks almost close to perfect. So now we have a before and after picture. In the first one, the cat was going to get his tail hit. Now with um, content aware and the puppet mask tool, we made the cat move its tail upwards and totally change the perspective of the image. These are one of the key features and one of the very little features that could be found in Photoshop. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please comment and subscribe for more videos, and have a nice day.